Hey guys, thanks for watching. Now, as you may or may not know, I had major surgery back in August, got me a brand new left knee. Well, prior to the surgery, I was talking with my wife about making changes to the channel and she said, you need to get a Helix. And I said, I do? Yeah. Okay, but why? She says, well, you've been reporting on Fractal now for two years and basically you've only been reporting on Fractal and it's time to expand things out. And I said, you know, you're right. So I took a look at Sweetwater and hey, they had an open box unit. I was like, perfect, because I love discounts. But every time I went to hit buy, I passed. I did that like for three or four days in a row. Every time I went to buy it, I just pulled my finger back for some reason. Then on the day that I said, okay, this is it, no ifs, ands, or buts, I am buying it, it was gone. Someone else had bought it. <sighs> So I went and told my wife and she just looked at me and she said, will you just buy the thing now? <laughs> so I called my Sweetwater rep and we got it set and I got it sent to me. I got it like maybe a week or so before my surgery. So it arrived a few days after I ordered it. And like I said, I got it around a week or so before the surgery. You know, I unpacked it, man, there was a lot of cardboard. I set it up and I really liked how it looked. The thing of it was when I got it, it was on firmware 3.1. And when I tried it, I went, these presets, whoa. I even told my wife that I had an idea for a new series. Can this preset be saved? I was going to take the factory presets and see what I could do to improve them. Well, then I upgraded to 3.6 and the presets got a lot better. So, so much for that idea. Anyway, like I said, I had it for around a week and then I was laid up for a good two months where I couldn't do anything. But what I could do while I was laying in the recliner was take a look to see how much online help there was for the Helix. You know, what kind of documentation, videos, etc., and everything. You know, I need that stuff because even though technically I've had it now for over two months, like I said I didn't get to touch it for a long time, so I still consider myself a noob. So that's why I decided to make this series for us Helix noobs. Hopefully we can all learn a little something. So let's see what resources I've been able to find for us. One of the things that Line 6 provides with the Helix in the box is a big laminated cheat sheet. Now this is the PDF version of it. The cheat sheet is actually white background with black lettering and everything. But man, it is great reference material for learning the front and back panels, the foot switches, the inputs and outputs, etc. Fractal could use something like this. The Helix didn't come with a printed manual, so I went to the Line 6 site and got the Helix 3.0 user manual the HX Edit Pilot's Guide, the 3.60 firmware update, and the HX Edit software. Now in case you aren't familiar with HX Edit, it's an editor that lets you do many of the Helix functions on your computer. That's really helpful for us guys with bad backs, because there's only so much bending down that we can do. So an app that lets us sit at our desk and work on the Helix is really appreciated. So besides those two manuals, the firmware and the HX edit software, what other options are available for learning how to use the Helix? Line 6 has a fairly extensive series of videos that explain various topics, and they've been sending them out about once a week. You should be getting these emails if you've registered your Helix. Craig Anderton has a massive ebook that you can buy pretty cheap at Sweetwater. The Big Books of Helix Tips and Tricks is almost 500 pages in length, and it comes with hundreds of presets. Anderton says, this book isn't Helix 101. That material already exists. To tell you the truth, I actually was hoping that it would contain Helix 101, but no such luck. However, it contains lots and lots of very useful information, and I would absolutely recommend it as a master reference guide. Now, oddly enough, I couldn't find any Helix 101 information. There is no hard copy book on the Helix units. There are some YouTube videos on getting started with the Helix, but the most recent is a year old and I'm not sure that it includes the new cabs that were part of the 3.50 update. Now I'm sure that there's still lots of useful information in those videos and I would definitely suggest searching YouTube for specific topics. But if you are also a Helix noob and you're having trouble finding out how to do this, that or the other function, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to research the issue, find a solution and post a video about it. That way we can all learn something new. Now I'm guessing that some Helix owners would say that you really don't need books or videos because Helix is so easy to figure out. I would suggest that while that may be true once you know your way around the Helix, 
Having helpful information to work with while you're going over new concepts is very helpful. So is there anything else? Well, I found one really helpful website, helixhelp.com. It lists three categories, models, tips and guides, and release notes. Models has 22 different filter categories, plus associated subcategories. Tips and guides lists 10 categories, although tips is listed twice. Release notes has data that goes back as far as 2017. Yeah, I visit this site often. And let's not forget the Line 6 forums, plus the huge Helix group on Facebook. 42,000 members. Now guys, that's what I've been able to find. Let me know if any of this was useful, or if you have anything else you'd like to add to the list. And let me know if you have any questions, like I said, that you'd like me to research. Now, next Wednesday, we are going to take a look at setting up an expression pedal with the Tone Master Pro. Now, you don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I'll be talking with you again next week.